Hi everyone, I'm Lou, the youth worker at St Paul's Church in OB and we would usually be in for assemblies this week, sharing a message about Easter. So for anyone who's choosing to rock up to this online assembly, well done, I promise it won't be too long. So for me as a Christian, the Easter story is a real story of hope despite difficult circumstances, which seems even more relevant now than ever. And a few verses um, from the Bible in 1 John 4 say this, Dear friends, let us continue to love one another, for love comes from God. God showed how much he loved us by sending his one and only son into the world, so that we might have eternal life through him. This is real love, not that we loved God, that but he loved us, and sent his son as a sacrifice to take away our sins. Dear friends, since God loved us that much, we surely ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God. But if we love each other, God lives in us and his love is brought to full expression in us. So the first important thing is to know that we are loved in this. Whatever happens, however difficult it gets, we are loved and cared for. And secondly, as loved and cared for people, the best way um, that we can be thankful for that is to pause, to think about the things that we have to be thankful for, um, to show our thankfulness to those that we love and care about um, in ways that are healthy and safe at the moment. More than ever, loneliness can be really devastating and just keeping in touch with people can be a lifeline and a game changer for some. So keep in touch with people and show, you, show them that you care. There is, thirdly, hope despite the difficulties. There's so much that we can accomplish by keeping healthy rhythms for ourselves, looking out for others in healthy ways and by keeping hopeful. In the Christian Easter story, most of the disciples had kind of given up, had lost hope by the point of Easter Sunday. But the few women who had been the last people left at the cross were the first people to go to the grave on Sunday morning. And when they did and when they held on to hope, they found it and they found hope and they found light and they found love beyond the odds. And they had a hope then that they could share with others. So let's keep loving, let's keep hopeful and let's keep sharing both of these um, with as many people as possible. At St Paul's we're praying for you all in this difficult time as we uh, adjust, um, as we get used to being at home and to different rhythms of life. We're praying for those who didn't get to finish their last year of school as they would have liked to, for those who don't get to do their exams that they've worked so hard for. Um, for those who are anxious or worried about the health or the health of people that they care about um, and just for everything that we need in this time and so we're praying for you as a church um, we don't just exist for ourselves we are here for you um, we're cheering you on and we're praying for you so if there's anything that you need please do get in contact and we'll do everything that we can um, me as the youth worker, I'm running various things for young people online at the moment, um, so you can find out more about that on our social media and you'll be very welcome to join in anything that we do if that can be of any help. So a huge thanks for listening, for being our precious friends um, and we really, really hope to see you soon. Bye.